The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our overview of Reckon Cloud Pause. My name is Timothy Parry. I'm one of the customer success specialists here at Reckon. And today, it's my pleasure to walk you through our new software. So without any further ado, let's begin. You'll notice it on the right-hand side of your You'll notice it on the right-hand side of your screen, you'll have access to a question box where you can ask any questions uh, that, that you want to during today's presentation. Please feel free to ask questions. Okay, let's jump right into it. Okay, so to begin with, let's talk about some of the key features of Reckon Cloud Pods. So first and foremost, it is mobile. So as the name suggests, it's cloud software. This means you can use it on a desktop, a laptop. You can even use it on a tablet. Next up, it supports plug and play hardware. So if you've got a USB barcode reader or scanner, receipt printer, cash drawer, anything like that, if it's compatible with Windows 10, for example, you can simply just plug and play and off you go. So we support multiple cash registers and we have a very simple pricing structure. It's a flat pricing structure. So you can have multiple users on a single cash register and then you can have multiple cash registers. Now this could be different sites for a shop or it could be a shop that has two or three cash registers on one premises. We can do live reporting. So of course our software integrates with accounting software, but POS is also its own standalone software and it does its own reporting as well. So for, for our package, you're getting uh, plug and play hardware, you're getting cloud software, it supports multiple registers and it reports all within itself. And also we're very excited as well that it has an offline mode. This means that if you're in an area where you're susceptible to, to internet crashes or if for whatever reason your internet goes offline, it's not gonna hamstring your business. You can continue to take orders and trade. And once you go back online, the software will just resync with the cloud. The next thing to talk about is our accounting app integration. So Reckon Cloud Pause integrates with Reckon One, which is fantastic cloud accounting software for small and medium-sized businesses. We also integrate with our other product, Reckon Accounts Hosted, and we have a, a very large customer base that use Reckon Accounts Hosted. It provides excellent reporting features and functionality. And later on today, I'll show you how you can integrate with those two softwares. Of course, we also integrate with other providers. Uh, there'll be a little bit more information on that as well. Okay, so just to begin with, in terms of integrations, let's talk about Reckon One. So Reckon One, when we integrate it with Reckon Cloud Pause, the Pause software will send a summary to Reckon One when your end of day is posted. So what this means is that you're getting an entry on your bank accounts as well as a journal. So it's, it's quite a simple um, a piece of data that's sent through and it just allows you to record your transactions for the day in, in one file rather than having multiple line by line entries which can which can be confusing and also um, in traditional accounting software sense make files a little bit large and cumbersome. The posting is automatic so once you complete your Z report or your end of day it, it will automatically get posted to your Reckon One book so there's no delay, there's no waiting and if for whatever reason you've got issues with internet you can always repost it later so I'll show you how that looks in a few moments. The next integration that I'd like to talk about is Reckon Accounts Hosted and for for all of you small business owners out there, if you have not yet picked a uh, accounting package, um, we do have, we here at Reckon sell uh, multiple different levels which are designed for different size businesses. So of course we can support you in doing that. Or if you're on another accounting package and you wanna consider your other options, feel free to get in touch with me um, after this webinar, I've got my details and we can help you with any migrations um, or just even selecting the right package for you. Anyway, so with Reckon Accounts hosted, we are sharing a detailed level of transactions. So end of day is posted as sales receipts or adjustment notes if they're refunds, for example. And the difference, the key difference here is that you can opt for line by line uh, recording of what items were sold and by which cash register as well. So if you're, if you're integrated with Reckon Accounts hosted, you're gonna be able to post a lot more detail 
and you'll be able to therefore create more in-depth reports. Now, accounts hosted, as I mentioned earlier, is um, it's probably better for, for, for small to medium businesses, whereas I reckon one solution will cover off your micro, your small and some medium level businesses. Again, if you need any support in choosing the right one for you, feel free to get in touch with me. And as I mentioned, I'll provide my details subsequent to this presentation. Okay, so third party integrations. Obviously, we understand that a lot of people are using software that uh, that, that we don't sell ourselves. So a big one, for example, is going to be zero. We can export transactions um, to zero. So we can export it in zero's file format and then you can import it into zero. So if you're a user of zero, you can definitely also be a user of Rec and Cloud Pause. We've also got a QuickBooks Online API, which is coming soon. QuickBooks Online, um, another, another uh, cloud accounting provider. So if, if you're someone who's using their software currently, then again, uh, we'll be able to interact with that. Now, in, in terms of the other providers, they're all in the pipeline. So anything that's cloud accounting, we should be able to integrate with in the near future. Just as I mentioned, and just to reiterate, if you're not using any accounting software, if you're using Excel, for example, or if you're in the market looking for accounting software, don't worry, you can use Rec and Cloud Pause as standalone software. It will report on its own. I've... Okay, so the next thing that we're going to take a look at is just doing a little live demo of Rec and Cloud Pause. So let me just bring that up to the front. All right, so first and foremost, how do you get into Rec and Cloud Pause? It's super simple. All you need to do is go to reckon.com and then you go to login at the top right hand corner and you select Rec and Cloud Pause. Now, for anyone who's familiar with Reckon, you'll understand that we use a login portal to access all of our cloud products. If you're not familiar with that, I will show you what that looks like. So I'm automatically logging in. So if you have never signed up with us before, you can register for a portal account for free. All you need to do is press the register for free button here, and then you can sign in with your Google account if you're a user of Gmail, or for example, um, if you've got a Office 365 account, then you can sign in using uh, your, your Office 365 account. Otherwise, you can do it the traditional way and just put your first name, last name, so on and so forth. Once you've logged in, you'll be brought to a screen that looks something like this. I just need to log in quickly. And what you can see here, so this is this is the Reckon One login. So these are all the businesses. These are just training ones. Reckon Cloud Pause looks a little bit like this. So each one of these little squares is a store. And you can see that the store here is deactivated and the store here is currently in operation. Now, for anyone who's new um, to Reckon, we have a couple of different options. So if you're looking at Cloud Pause, you're going to have access to a 14 day free trial. And if you're looking at Reckon One, for example, we'll give you a month for free. Signing up to the portal is free. And then of course, we've got demo versions, for example, of Reckon One that you can have a play with. And then as I mentioned, our 14 day free subscription for pause. Okay, so what can we do while we're here? We can add new cash registers by clicking on manage our subscriptions. You can see here that the price per register is $29 a month. So if I had two, it will make it 58. So it scales at a flat rate. You also notice that I can share my store. So if I've got an accountant or bookkeeper who I'm working with, I can easily share my store with them and they can manage my reporting for me. So without any further ado, let's jump in. The first thing that we'll do is we'll take a little look at the management system, which is basically where we house all of the settings. So you'll notice when I click onto it, it brings up a, another tab in my Google Chrome, which is our preferred browser, by the way, and it defaults to inventory. So you can see that I've got some inventory items already loaded in. 
we've tested this. We've we've already put in uh, 550 plus items into an inventory list, which we just quickly imported using a spreadsheet, and we had no issues at all. We're going to soon test a item list from a small hardware store that has 5,000 items, and we don't anticipate to, there to be any issues. You'll notice that we've got an edit mode so that when you do have large quantities of items, you can edit them in bulk. And you'll notice as well that we can create categories. As I mentioned, we have import and export features so you can bring large numbers of items or export them in one single go. And at the top, if I click on reports, this brings me to our live reporting software or system rather. So when you're reporting with Reckon Cloud Pause, you can choose a time period that you want to report for. So for example, I could choose year to date and it's going to bring up the net sales of my business. And it's also going to give me an estimated gross profit. And this is just based off my sale price minus, for example, my supplier price, which I've set up on each individual item. You'll be able to see how many transactions you've made the average number of items that make up a transaction, how many units are being returned, the payment type that's coming through the most. It's also going to tell you on which days and at which times you're actually selling items. So if you filter, for example, for today, uh, once we start taking some orders, you'll see as the day progresses how those orders go up and down. Your units sold, can be reported as and downloaded into Excel and so can all of your receipts. Our Z report archive is also something that, that we keep on hand for you at all times and you can filter that by cash register and then we also allow for reporting on gift cards. So you'll be able to see the total outstanding sum of your gift cards as well as the number of gift cards that make up that sum. Moving across, we have an employee section. This is where we can add employees and we can set roles for them. So you can see down the bottom here that uh, we have a manager and cashier role, a cashier only or an employee only. And this is going to prevent people from using your management system if, they, if you don't want them to have access to it. You'll also be able to export sales reports, which means that you can see the performance of each of your individual employees. Okay, so I've got a question in which I just want to stop and answer now. So the question is, will there be an FPOS terminal attached to each register to receive the payments? The answer to that is yes. At the present moment, we don't directly integrate with any of the FPOS terminal providers. So what that means is that you'll be capturing payments and authenticating them on any FPOS terminal because it's not directly integrating with our software. So it will be one of those scenarios where you'll type in, for example, $10 into your FPOS terminal, and, and from there, you'll capture the transaction on the Reckon Cloud POS software. So those two things are done separately. They're not yet integrated, but the key benefit of that for today is that you can bring your existing terminal across no matter what your provider is. So thank you very much for that question. Don't forget guys, if you do have any questions as we progress through today, uh, please write them down and I'll do my best to, to answer all of them and get back to them within the scope of this webinar. Okay, moving on, customers. So we also allow for the creation of customers as well as groups of customers. What this means for small businesses is that if you have a business that is providing you with referrals, you can see here, for example, I've created a group called referrals and I can manage all of those referrals so that I can ad adequately reward any referrals, for example. You can also create a group for staff members. And one of the great things about doing this is you can apply a loyalty discount to all people that sit within that group. So in this instance, it might be that all staff members get a 40% discount off any purchases they make in store. Again, just like items, you can bring in large lists of customers and you can export large lists of customers. Creating a new customer is simple. You simply just press the new customer button. First name, last name, you can attach a loyalty program there and then date of birth, mobile number, as well as notes and assign them to a group. You'll also notice that we can capture their social media handles and why this is so significant is because you can therefore start advertising to their social media groups or retarget them or remarket to them, which is 
obviously we all understand today that for small businesses, having a social media presence is becoming more and more important and this software will allow you to start tapping into that. I've just got another question that's just come through. It's a great one. Thank you. Um, is it a multi-store system? If not, any plans? Um, so it currently, it, it is a multi-store system. So we manage that just by purchasing new registers. And then, for example, if you're integrated with Reckon Accounts Hosted, you can um, track and account for and report on by cash register which is going to allow you to um, basically classify the different streams of income as they arise from, from your multiple stores. So we do handle it currently. Thanks again for that question. All right, guys, um, moving on. So next to customer list, we have loyalty programs. We currently offer three different kinds of loyalty programs. So we've got one for birthdays, one which is your standard punch card, as well as a loyalty discount. So just going over them quickly, your birthdays on the day of someone's birthday, on the week of their birthday, or the month of their birthday, you can offer them a reward. Punch card is like your traditional punch card, except we manage it entirely digitally, which means you no longer need to print off and hand out punch cards. And we've also got our loyalty discount, which is a free text box that you can type in. For example, I've just typed in staff member discount and VIP. I could add another one that's, for example, affiliate referrals and give them a 20% discount. It's that easy and then you can apply it to any customers that you see fit. Moving on to gift cards. So gift cards, you can still buy gift cards that have barcodes on them, and if you've got a barcode scanner, you can simply scan them into the system and sell them. Alternatively, you can type in the number of the barcode and, and um, sell them that way. You can choose how long you want your gift cards to be valid for. You'll see that we've got three years up to comply with new legislation. You can have presets. So I sell $100, $50, $20 gift cards. Enable custom values means you could sell a gift card for say $57, you can type in any number you like. And then store credit switched on means that if someone makes a, 50, a $40 purchase, say on a $50 gift card, the $10 will be added to their gift card rather than them losing it. Um, just moving along to preferences, this is the final place where we have some settings. You can manage your receipts, you can add your logo to your receipts as well as your ABN and all the other important information that you've got such as website. Under in-store, you can uh, set a tax rate for your entire business. You can choose whether you want same items to be displayed as single or multiple lines. You also notice we've got enable order printing, which is great for uh, say cafes and restaurants that want to print another order to give to the kitchen. You can choose how long your gift receipts are valid for. So gift receipts, for example, say you buy someone a present, um, you can give them a gift receipt and then they'll be able to exchange that gift using the gift receipt and they won't have the price. And then you've got printing preferences. So if you're using a receipt printer, you choose receipt printer and it will print to the correct format. Payment providers, so we integrate with PayPal and external terminal. If you're using an external terminal, you simply just need to switch it onto active, name your terminal and away you go. As I mentioned, we're not directly integrating, which means you can use any terminal you want. I've just got another question. So can you transfer stock between stores? The answer to that is yes. Now, <clears throat> now how, that, how that works is um, your inventory within Cloud Pause. So it, I should preface this by saying that this would work with Reckon Accounts Hosted. And the reason why is because Reckon Accounts Hosted becomes the source of truth when you're creating items for Reckon Cloud Pause. What that means is that you're not creating your inventory here, you're actually creating it in the accounting software, which means that you can mark it up against whatever store you want. Now, that only works if you're doing it using Reckon Accounts Hosted. Otherwise, no, you cannot transfer stock between stores. Great question though, thank you very much for asking that. 
Moving along, the next section is cash registers. This is just another place where we can add and manage our cash registers. And then lastly, we've got accounting software. And under this heading, this one takes a little bit to load up. This is where we can easily integrate with um, the different accounting providers. So you can see that currently I'm uh, integrated with Reckon One. And then if I wanted to integrate with Reckon Accounts Hosted, you simply just press the toggle button and then follow the prompts. I'm going to talk a little bit more about integrations a bit later when I show you everyone uh, the sort of self-help and, and self-service that we provide as well. Let's jump in and have a quick look at the cash register. I think, I think this is what everyone's probably excited to see. Okay, so what you're seeing in front of you is our Reckon Cloud POS cash register. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, as I mentioned, this works on laptops, it works on tablets, it works on full desktop setups. And one of the key benefits of this is that even a business as small as someone who's selling stuff at a market can use this on a tablet and accurately record and report on their sales. Okay, so how does it work? You choose the category or the item from this section here on the right. And you simply just click or tap it with your finger and it adds it to the left. By clicking on a particular item, you can apply a discount, you can increase the quantity, or you can press this I for information button. And then once you're done, you can remove it or press done. If I do the same item multiple times, you can see that my option has been to do it line by line rather than group up multiple items together. I can easily clear an order by pressing the clear button. You'll see that my next option here allows me to sell gift cards. So I'll just type in a hypothetical gift card number. And you'll see my three presets. 100, 50 and 20. Or I can type in any other amount that I want. What I'm going to do is actually process a quick order. So I'll apply a discount to it first by pressing the discount here. Let's apply a 10% discount to the whole order. And what I'll do is I'll hit the checkout button. I'll select FBOSS for today and I'll just press charge and no receipt. Now you'll also notice here I've got a box that allows me to assign an order to a customer. So let's just create a fake customer called Lou and last name can be Pirelli. Charge and no receipt. And when I jump into receipts now, you'll see that my receipt is housed here. And if I wanted to, I could print off a gift receipt, send it, or print the receipt again. The other thing worth mentioning is that we our customers flow through to the software so you can see that some customers that I created previously are here I've also got the capacity to park orders so I can hit the park button I can type in a customer name say Lou Pirelli who we made earlier and I can park that order this can be used in some senses to actually lay by items but let's just imagine that we're just parking it temporarily I go to receipts I select Lou Pirelli and it brings it back and now I can check out. What I'll do, the administration cog button up the top left hand here just lets me know um, what options I have. So I can run an X report, a Z report or sync. If I click X report, it's just telling me what my sales are so far. Let's go ahead and press the sync button. What this does is it brings forward any information that was created in the management system to the software. I've just got a um, another question here. How does the FPOS terminal communicate with Rec and Cloud POS software? So thanks again for that question. Now I just want to reiterate that we don't directly integrate with any FPOS terminals. What that means is that if you make a $10 transaction using Rec and Cloud POS, it's not going to automatically pre-fill your FPOS terminal with $10, not yet at least. How we manage it is that you capture the $10 sale on Rec and Cloud POS 
and then you type $10 into the terminal and capture and authenticate the payment on the terminal. Um, another question that's come up is, can images be used on the product selection panel? The answer to that is yes, you can use codes and colors like what I've got here, or you can upload images. You definitely can, and I'll just show you quickly in the management system how you do that. So jumping into the management system, I'm in inventory, I'm creating a new item. All you do is select main image and then you browse and select your image. It's that easy. I've got another question. Does the monthly price include unlimited support? Yes, um, we are massive on support here at Reckon. So I work in the customer success team and my entire job is just to help people ensure that they're using the software to the best of their ability. So we provide you with training, we'll do phone calls, um, depending on, on where you're located as well, we can even get people out to, to help you face to face. So. Um, the monthly price does include unlimited support and as a note to that it also includes unlimited everything that you can create so it's unlimited items unlimited customers unlimited employees okay um, I've got another question what about size and color uh, sales reporting I'm just not sure would you be able to please clarify that I'm just not exactly 100% sure what you're asking for all right so just moving on You'll see now that Lou Pirelli, my new customer, has been made. Now, what can I do? I can click into Lou Pirelli. I can see he's got two punches on his punch card, which I've set up for all of my customers. And the reason why he's got two punches is because my settings have told the software that I will give someone a punch on their punch card for any purchase that they make in my shop. If I click on the little person icon, <clears throat> If I had details about Lou Pirelli, say like his social media handles, etc., or, or whatever else information, that would all be recorded here. I think I've got some for one of my people. So you can see here, for example, my Esther Wild customer. I've got a note that she's a vegan um, and, and a loyalty discount. I've just got a staff member discount. So if I'm running some sort of restaurant business, I can just quickly take notes on, for example, what foods they can and cannot eat. Back to Lou Pirelli, I'm going to click on his little reporting icon now. You can see this is how much he spent over two purchases. His last visit was zero days ago because he just bought from us. And his most purchased is two lattes and two cappuccinos. I'm also housing all his receipts here. So you can see that if he wanted another receipt sent to him, emailed to him or printed off, I can do it super easily. And when he walks into the store, I know that he's going to want a latte and a cappuccino because he's probably buying for him and a friend. Okay, now I've got a question. Can you receive payments from customers that have monthly accounts? For example, news agency deliveries um, are sent a statement through hosted and come in store to pay the account. You definitely can. So thanks for that question. Now, there's, there's no feature uh, uh, per se that is for <clears throat> people who are paying accounts, but there's no reason why you can't just keep adding the items against the customer and then having using the dates on the receipts, for example, if it's a month, just going month by month and adding up the amounts and then charging them for it. So there is no reason why you can do that. As I said, there is no direct feature for accounts, but there's obviously workarounds for it. So it can be managed. It's just about how you go about doing it. Now, you'll see that with my punch card, if I press the I button, it's letting me know that buy um, 10 of any item and you'll get a free coffee. So that's just what I've set up previously, just to show you how that works. So you can always remind yourself what the punch card requirements are. I've got a couple more questions here. Um, so selling clothing, so small blue t-shirts, utilizing size and color matrix for sales and reporting. Yep. Okay, great question. So how we manage that, we don't um, currently you have options for small, medium, large, but you do it like this. We do have we do have customers that use the software and do that. And the best way to do it is when you're naming your product, you do small blue t-shirt. So that's currently how we manage it. So our name um, is also our, our uh, way of differentiating between sizes. And then if you, you'd press duplicate, and then you change that to medium. Now, 
of course, this isn't the best or most streamlined way of creating uh, multiples of items that come in different sizes and colors, but it does work. Um, and of course, you're going to have barcodes for each of these. So when you scan your barcode, it's going to bring it up and then you can also assign codes and colors as well to make it a little bit easier to differentiate. On that note, if, you do, if you've got a lot of items and for whatever reason your barcode scanner is not working, um, you can see that I can also in search type in latte and I can press that button and it will add it to my order. So there are multiple different ways that you can quickly sift through large lists of items. <clears throat> Alright guys, so what I'm hoping to show you is that using this information, you can better serve your customers and create the kinds of relationships with them that are so important for small businesses to thrive. Okay, obviously we've got our receipts bank here. Um, other quick features that are worth mentioning is our quick return feature. So if someone comes back and returns something, you simply press quick return, choose the item, and then we'll adjust the stock and um, give them back their money. You'll notice up the top left hand corner that we're currently online. If we go offline, that will turn red. Performing a Z report is super easy. You simply just press Z report. Put the amount, if there's any cash that needs to be deposited, you put it in, you can add notes and you can print, and then you just press close register. You can see that the end of report was sent to my login, um, was posted to R1 webinar, smashed Ava Cafe successfully, and now it's just bringing me back to my portal so I can quickly log in, and I'll just show you. Why not? I'll log in quickly to Reckon One. And you'll see that I've got a bank account. So if I click on bank account, so this is Reckon One, everyone, for those of you who haven't seen it before. Um, Cloud Pause Cash Register is an, a bank account that automatically gets sent up, set up rather. I'll click on April. Today's date's the 20th. So you can see that our money in was $36. I'll click into details. And you'll see it's se separated up by total sales, transactions with GST and transactions without GST. A journal entry is also posted and it's really that simple. If you need to transfer um, between accounts, you can do that within your uh, accounting package and you can also adjust journal entries if need be. Okay, I've got another question. If I have an, an ongoing quantity by discount, can this be set up in the software to be automatic when this quantity is reached on a single invoice? Um, can it be manually adjusted if need be? Uh, the answer to that is currently no. So for, for complex um, transactions like that, I would imagine that the only way that we could currently do that is to manage it in your accounting software and then manually update that into POS. So, probably what you can see from our little overview of POS here is that it it's more focused on, on super light, um, uh, clean transactions at a very affordable price point. We are going to continue to build this out and for suggestions like what you've just provided or for questions like that, I'm going to show you the place where I want you to input them because we can get them added to the product backlog and if it's something you need, we will build it. Okay, um, I've got a question here. Can you show how it integrates with Reckon Online Hosted? I cannot show you and the reason why is because I don't have a hosted account that I can connect with right now, but what I will do is even better than that. I'm going to show you where the information is so that you can do it yourself. Um, and of course, if you need help integrating with Reckon Accounts Hosted, we will actually do it for you. Um, so, so one of my one of my colleagues here will work through that process with you of integrating, and I can provide training on the back end of that. So you're fully covered. Thanks for that question. Okay, um, the next thing I want to do, I'm just going to jump across to a different tab. So there are a few things I want to show you. This, 
the screen that you're looking at now is the Reckon Training Academy. This is where we house all of our how-tos and self-help material for all of our products. We also do a ton of stuff for small businesses. I've done webinars on, on social media. I've done webinars on managing cash flow. Um, my colleagues have done webinars on, on conflict within the workplace. You completely covered. We do lots of things for small businesses as well as webinars on product like what we're doing today. You can sign up to the Academy for free and most of the courses are free. So how do you get to the Academy? Super easy. You go to reckon.com. You go more, you select training and you sign up for the Academy. So reckon.com, more, training, sign up to the Academy. It's completely free and it's got a ton of stuff. All right, moving across next. So this is what I wanted to mention, ideas.reckon.com, ideas.reckon.com. This is where you can submit your ideas for our software and vote on ideas that have already been submitted. The ones that get the most votes get added to the product backlog and get built out. We have a dedicated development team that sits here in our offices in North Sydney and the turnaround time for updates has been super fast for, for Reckon Cloud point of sale. So please do share, <coughs> pardon me, please do share your ideas with us. Okay, the next thing that I want to show you, and I think everyone should get their um, pen and paper out and write this one down. This is help.reckon.com. Me and my colleagues have built this out in its entirety. It is a combination of videos and step-by-step how-tos to do some of the most important things to get you set up with Rec and Cloud Pods. It is, it's step-by-step. -step. There is not a step missed. It's super easy to follow. Now, for those of you who want to integrate with Reckon accounts hosted on your own, you go help.reckon.com. You select integrations. You select accounting. You choose Reckon Accounts Hosted, and there is step-by-step. Step. As you can see, <clears throat> it's a little bit involved, but we've got you covered. It's step-by-step step on how you can integrate with Reckon Accounts Hosted. Now, the reason why this one is a little bit more involved is because Reckon Accounts Hosted is such a powerful piece of accounting software, and it means that you've got a two-way connection with Reckon Cloud Pause. As I said earlier, hosted will be the source of truth for any data that flows through into POS. <clears throat> I've just got another question. Any plans for size matrix upgrades suitable for clothes and shoe store? Um, what I'm going to do, let me, let me ask, I'll ask the software team that today and, and get back to you via email. I do believe that something should be coming out for that because we do get asked that question a lot. So I will let you know via email. Do you use the accounting package for detailed reporting? Certainly. Um, for anyone who's used Reckon Accounts hosted before, you know that it's a market leader in terms of reporting. It's got a ridiculous number of reports and some of them are super powerful. People rave and rave and rave about it. Um, so yes, you can use your accounting package for detailed reporting, but as you've seen, we've also got fairly detailed reporting here as well within the management system. You can filter by cash register, you can filter by item, category, supplier, you can filter by date. As you can see, I can see that at, you know, at, at about 10 a.m. I sold $13.97 worth of stuff. So it's this is quite in depth itself, um, but you can take it to the next level with your accounting software. Okay, so help.reckon.com and ideas.reckon.com. Please remember those two websites. Okay, let's jump back into the slideshow. All right, so the question is how much does it cost? Everyone already knows the answer to this because we saw it when we went through the software. It's $29 a month per cash register, not per user, per cash register. Any, um, any amount of people can use a cash register one at a time, but it's per cash register. 
that's for Australia and New Zealand. In the United Kingdom, we charge £19 for each cash register. Uh, Siobhan, I will, as well as David, thanks thanks for showing your interest in um, in, the, in the clothing and, and shoes and the size matrix. I will get back to both of you via email. I'll probably send out a general email to the entire group that's attended today's webinar. So just again, thanks everyone for taking the time to join us today. It's always a real pleasure to, to see some good interest in, in our products. We're very proud of what we've got here. So thanks again for your participation. Moving on, if you select Reckon One and Reckon Cloud Pos, you can have your accounting software and point of sale for $34 a month, and that's because we only charge $5 a month for Reckon One Core, which is the, our most basic offering. You can add invoices, payroll, um, projects, etc., cetera, for, an, for extra cost, but it's fairly cheap. The entire Reckon One suite for everything is only about $30 a month. For Reckon accounts hosted in Cloud Pods, it's 87 a month. And that's about it, guys. So take down my email address. So it's tim.perry at reckon.com. If you've got any questions or if I've forgotten to send you some information, please um, feel free to get in touch with me and I'll be sure to send out um, whatever you're looking for. If you need help setting up, um, if you need help purchasing or if you just want to understand what's the best solution for your business, get in touch with us. What I want to do now is just put a bit of time aside for people to submit their questions. I've got a great question here. If I need multiple cash registers for a short period, say a busy week around end of year, can I up the subscription temporarily? Yes, you can. That's such a great question because we're really proud that we can do this for people. You can switch your cash registers on and off as you want and we'll keep your data for you. So you're not going to lose your data. You can switch them on, on and off. So you can pay $29 for your second register, switch it off the following month, and that's that. I'm going to give everyone a few more seconds to submit some questions. Can customers, whoop, I've just got to, it's just jumped up a little bit. Can customer signatures be added to invoices? Yes. So we do have a setting here. I'll just jump back into the software. Under the management system, if I go to preferences, in-store, receipt and order preferences, you see that I can enable on-screen signatures. So if you're set up um, with, with some sort of tablet, you can capture your customer's signatures using that. Uh, another great question, I don't need to integrate with Reckon 1. Can I run Reckon Pause standalone? Definitely. Um, we're, not, we're not trying to bundle this with anything. I just wanted to show you that because it's another product that we offer and that, that we support here, of course. Reckon Cloud Pause is standalone software. Uh, I've got another question. What is the stock take like? I guess I'd need to understand more about your process before I could comment on that. I've never um, owned or worked in a retail shop, so I don't exactly know what the stock take process looks like. Got another question here. Currently using Reckon and Pause downloaded with admin and cashier terminals. Can this be transitioned to online cloud and hosted to allow online access for admin purposes? <clears throat> So, Wendy, thanks for that question. I would guide you to our help.reckon.com and then to our Reckon Accounts hosted setup page. And the reason why is because I believe that you should create a second user in Reckon Accounts hosted to manage your Reckon Cloud POS so that you don't have to constantly log in and out of your admin login. Um, let me take, if, if you need some further assistance with that, uh, please email me at tim.parrotreckon.com and I'll see if I can sort that one out. That one's a little more complex than the scope of this webinar. 
Um, so I've got, can I just stock take a certain category instead of everything? Yeah, there's no, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to do that. There's no, there's absolutely nothing wrong with adjusting um, stock levels on individual items or individual categories. That's fine. Can order numbers be shown on invoices? So thanks for that question. Our, the invoices that we generate out of Reckon 1 and Reckon Accounts always show invoice numbers. So the answer to that is yes. Where is the printer and cash register device support list? Um, thank you for that question. The answer to that is that we support all printers and most cash registers. If it's, for example, if you've got like a USB scanner um, cash register or printer and it, it plugs straight into your terminal, it's going to be supported. Um, we haven't had an example yet that doesn't work. But if I go to help.reckon.com, you're going to see hardware requirements and you're going to see tested hardware and you'll see cash drawers. So, so far we've tested the CNOR KC4141 cash drawer. Receipt printers. We've got CNOR and Citizen, scanners, and touchscreen terminals. I should add to this iPads as well because we've successfully tested and used an iPad, as well as a Microsoft Surface Pro. Can I show you how to do a stock take? Uh, sorry, no, I can't. I don't know how to do a stock take. I've never done one in my life. Um, if you if you tell me if you tell me exactly step by step what you want me to do, what I can do, uh, David is is on a separate phone call with you. I can walk you through it. Or alternatively, um, uh, what I can do for everyone who's attended this webinar is actually set up individual calls and show you more about the software as well as show you how to sign up to it. Okay, so let's just say you get a delivery of something. How do you receive it into the system? Let me quickly show you that one. You just go to inventory, edit, and then you change your quantities to whatever you need it to be. You can edit in bulk or you can click into an item and edit them individually. Um, let me just give a couple more minutes for any questions we've had. We've had a great number of questions today, which is absolutely fantastic to see. Hopefully that's answered your question on how you can receive stock. Um, I've just updated the quantities. All right, guys, let's... I don't see any more questions coming through, so let's leave it at that for now. Again, thank you very much for joining us today. If you need any, oh, one's just come through. Can I manage my inventory through hosted, for example, receipt of stock and have it downloaded to Buzz? Yes, as I mentioned, our Reckon Accounts Hosted is the source of truth when you're dealing with Reckon Cloud Pods, so your updates in hosted will flow through. All right. Great. Let's leave it at that, guys. Thank you so much for your attendance. Please email me, tim.perry at reckon.com if you've got any questions. As I said, we can organize phone calls and show you the software more in depth. I can help you set up your accounts and we can, we can um, help you migrate from other software providers as well if you need some assistance with that. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of your Friday and have a great weekend. Done.